Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for uh, the for July <laughs> 2021. Uh, we are going to jump right in here, Scorpio, and just take a look at what's going on for you. Uh, feel free to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time as well, Scorpio. But... Um, Scorpio, also make sure to only follow the social media accounts that are linked in the comment, the pinned comment down below. Uh, there are tons of scammers now. I will never contact you asking for money. I will, I will also never do personal reading. So uh, do not believe anyone that is telling you or asking you for any of that stuff and claiming to be me. It is not me. But uh, Scorpio, let's see here. You start off with the Ace of Cups, so your emotions overflowing, really happy, I feel, at this time. Uh, all three water signs have been really positive, actually, really good stuff coming up for water, so I feel like there could be like a lot of happiness, a lot of just like enjoyment of life coming in for you here as well. You have the sun, all three water signs have the sun, that's crazy, number one. And you also have the Hierophant as well. So some of you, this could be like love that leads to marriage, um, you know, even though this is your past position. It could say that some of you already are married, of course. I'm reading for like a billion of you. But um, what I would say here is that I feel like there could be marriage coming in in the future as well. You have the Knight of Pentacles, which is like someone who wants to take the, their time. I feel in love. Some of you, I feel like, are in a relationship, like a newer, you know, newer, meaning like a year or so old or less, obviously. Uh, so some of you could already be in a relationship. It's like someone wants to move faster than the other person. <laughs> so there's some sort of imbalance here. This does not have to be a bad thing. You have the temperance card. Temperance says you can bring things into balance if you want to, or you can walk away. Eight of cups. It's like your choice. I feel like people like watch tarot. And they think it's like going to be, you know, like cut and dry, straightforward. Sometimes it is, but it's like sometimes the tarot is like, you have a choice. It's you have a choice, right? We create our own reality. So the choice is up to you here, but it's like someone wants to, you know, there's definitely an imbalance. And again, uh, the, you know, the whole, I think, um, again, something I've been noticing in the comments is like people don't realize it's like tarot doesn't say there's an imbalance, you're screwed. You know, tarot says there's an imbalance, you can fix it or not. It's like we're not stuck in our circumstances. We can make, we can change, we can change things, right? You know, the future hasn't happened just yet, although, you know, I'm sure some, you know, I'm sure some physics expert is going to comment about how the future exists simultaneously and blah, 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 right? I'm like, okay, you know, continue watching Rick and Morty. I don't care, right? But what I would say here is a lot of happiness coming in for you. You have the four cups, the sun and the higher frontier. It's, it, and, and again, look, it's like there are, there are opportunities for you to be very happy, but he, this is a card of contemplation and it's a card of kind of like, he's ignoring these cups that he, that he is manifesting. So I feel like you are manifesting the things you want, but you could be ignoring those things. I feel like there's a lot of happiness for you coming in here, um, but I feel like you have to accept it, number one. I'm getting just, um, you know, uh, almost like overthinking vibes in this row here, uh, Scorpio. It's almost like n the feeling of like wanting, you know, I would call this analysis paralysis is what I'd say. Although the Seven of Pentacles to me is analysis paralysis. But to me, this could represent like feeling like you need to know more about a situation when you don't. So, you know, I would be careful of getting stuck in a situation where it's like, and what I mean by that is it's like sometimes I think people get into relationships and they're like, uh, I'm not going to commit to this person fully until I know more. But it's like, you're never going to know more. It's like, you know what you know right now. <laughs> so I feel like you just have to go based off of that. And, um, you know, so that's what I'm getting here. I'm kind of getting like, you know, it's like if you're looking for something, you're going to find it. Like those words are popping into my head with the Hierophant, which is pretty weird as well. It's like if you're looking for something to be wrong in a relationship, you're going you're gonna to find something wrong with it, right? Plain and simple. But if you can just be happy and positive and think, you know, this is a great relationship, then that's exactly what it will be. And so I feel like you need to realize that here uh, with this first row, with this energy that's kind of coming up in this first row, I should say. But uh, let's let me clarify this here, Scorpio, and let's see. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Could be it could be an Earth sign coming in for some of you. For others, I feel like you're hesitating. Really, I feel like this is saying you're hesitating to take action on something here because the Queen of Pentacles. She is a card of resourcefulness. She basically says you have the resources necessary to do something that you want to do, and um, but you know you could be feeling like you don't with that Four of Cups. So it's like maybe you want to start a business. Four of Cups is like you trying to manifest opportunities to start the business, but you're kind of like saying, you know, I don't have what I need with that Queen of Pentacles. Uh, Knight of Pentacles is very slow progress. Temperance says you need to kind of like turn things around. There are like a lot of, there's, you know, I'm getting a lot of things popping into my head here, Scorpio. I'm trying to, you know, narrow down the message. 
But it's like there are a lot of books out there, for example, where it's like people have done things with nothing, basically. So, you know, I feel that if you're saying, well, I don't have the money to start a business or I don't have the money to move or whatever, I feel like really you, you maybe you don't, but you do have the resources is what Queen of Pentacles says. Queen of Pentacles could be anything. You know, it could say maybe you have stuff in your attic that you could sell. Maybe you could do a yard sale if you need money. Uh, it could also say that you don't actually need the money that you think you need uh, to do something that you want to do, right? <laughs> so it's like maybe you could get a loan or whatever to buy a house. Um, I'm, like all these things are popping into my head here. Um, but there's a book, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Um, you know, there are a lot of books, you know. It, of course, there's billions of them. But uh, there's a book like Obstacle is Away. There's another one by Damon John. I can't remember what it's called, but it's about like starting with nothing, basically. And all those things are popping into my head. And so for those of you that are like in business or career, it's like I feel like you need a lot less than you think. Uh, even in love as well. It's like maybe you're afraid that you don't bring enough to the table. I do think this is a common fear, by the way, in a relationship. It's like you could be attracting someone here who's very, you know, who you feel like is very um, successful or, you know, whatever. It's like, like maybe you're putting someone on a pedestal here and maybe you feel like you don't bring enough to the table so you're like they're gonna leave me i do feel like that is a common fear but this is like saying to me no you have everything you need you have the hangman more delays it's like you're waiting for something here community information scorpio yeah page of swords be curious the hangman with the sun is total enlightenment, right? The sun represents enlightenment. The hangman, is, he puts himself in hangman mode to be enlightened. So in a lot of ways, it feel like you've been looking for answers. Page of Swords is a card of curiosity, right? And so you've been kind of like looking for answers in some area of your life on a very deep level. Uh, you have this B spirit. This card says sweet results await. So obviously there's something really good coming in for you here, something that you've been like trying to harvest. So I do feel some of you are hoping to have a harvest here, Scorpio. You have the Page of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups here. Six of Cups, you know, could represent thinking about the past and all this other stuff, but you know, as I always say, uh, the Six of Cups does not represent necessarily someone coming back from the past. I know a lot of readers read it that way, but um, if you read about the Six of Cups, it says do not get stuck in the past. So I feel like for some of you, it is saying like, don't get stuck in the past. But on top of that, the Six of Cups is a gift from the universe. So I do feel that there could be a gift coming in for you here, Scorpio. Uh, the gift that we receive with the Six of Cups is a second chance. And we kind of see that here as well. Temperance is turning, you know, it could be turning a negative into a positive, could be turning a positive into a negative, could be, you know, finding a second chance or doing something again. And I kind of get that energy for you where I feel like some of you uh, could be like doing something again or you could be trying um, again here. Scorpio. You have the Page of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So I feel that for a lot of you, you're ready to go on an adventure. You're ready to walk away from something. You have this Eight of Cups over here as well. We're going to talk more about that in a minute. But the Eight of Cups it represents like the period after a new moon. And it can represent like a lack of clarity or not being sure like what to do in your life or not being, you know, not really being sure what direction to go in. So there is, you know, it's kind of like you're walking into darkness in some ways here, Scorpio. Uh, I do feel like this could be love. As well, Six of Cups could be a soulmate and it could be an earth sign that is coming in for you here, Scorpio. It could be any sign. You know, this is just a general reading, but uh, let's see where this is going for you. You have the Knight of Pentacles again. Yeah, I feel like in a lot of ways, this is asking you to just take the first steps. I feel like I said this to you in your third quarter reading. Sometimes I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is just the universe saying, prove it. It's like sometimes we want something and we maybe we don't have the resources to accomplish it. Maybe we want to move. Maybe we want to travel. Maybe we want to start a business or get into a relationship. The Knight of Pentacles says, don't worry about any of that. Just take the first step. Just make, make that first move. I always tell people, it's like, I wonder, you know, I wonder all the time how much people hold themselves back. It's like, if you don't take that first step, it's like the universe is like, oh, they're not serious. But if you do take a, the first step to make something happen, it's like the universe is like, oh, they are serious. They want this to happen. So let's make it happen, right? And that's kind of like the energy I'm getting here. I feel like some of you need to make that, that first move. Yeah, strength. It's going to require strength. It is going to require you to, um, you know, be patient and to be bold, to make a move, right? So for those of you who are trying to accomplish something, I would get moving. I would say the strength card, it is a card of patience, but, you know, it's a card of showing off. It's pretty badass, right? Who who in the right mind would stick their hands in a lion's mouth, as I always say? It's kind of like a card of, like, needing to make that move. 
And you have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, things will happen quickly is what I feel like things saying to you uh, if you take that first step. But you have to take the first step. Um, so in love, for example, I feel like you have to make the first move. In um, business, same thing. I feel like you just have to get started. And you you know once you do that, it's like the universe gets out of your way. You even have this leg up card here. I feel like this is like part of the gift that you're receiving from the universe. It's like by taking the first step, I feel like the universe will kind of rise to meet the needs. I always tell a story, right? When I move to Seattle four years ago, I didn't really have the money to do it, but I just did it. And guess what? Uh, the universe rose to meet my needs in that time. So, and there are many other examples I could give and uh, th I could give other people's examples as well. It's like once you do something, the universe kind of gives you the leg up. So I would encourage you to kind of like take the first step here. You have the Eight of Cups, the Net of Wands, and the Temperance card. I feel like the, um, you know, the Eight of Cups can represent a period of innovation as well, kind of like the Moon card. It can represent trying something new or, again, he's walking away from things that no longer serve him and he doesn't really know where he's going, but he's going towards the Nine of Cups. He's going towards something he wishes for. He just doesn't know it, right? He's walking in darkness. So it can be a card of walking in darkness, but it really says do not get sucked into the past because the Eight of Cups can represent kind of like an emotional whirlpool where it's like something from the past might make you very emotional. It could be a past relationship. It could be a past idea that didn't work out. But if, as long as you're moving forward and moving away from something that isn't working, you'll be successful with the Eight of Cups. Um, it's also a card that kind of says that um, things are unclear because maybe you're on a path in your life where it's like you have nothing to compare it to. So that's where true growth is, by the way, and that's where true success comes from is doing things that you've never done before and maybe even doing things that nobody else has ever done before as well but it's like there's nothing to compare to so it's like if you have nothing it's like if you have nothing to compare to it's like you don't know if you're really making progress or not right the net of wands kind of just says well you just have to see <laughs> you know net of wands is open to adventure just open to see where he's going and the temperance card is like turning negatives into positives so that's kind of like what, what i feel here i do feel like you are on the right path there's a path that's running straight to a crown here scorpio it's like you're moving towards something very exciting i might have to pull an extra row here just to see where this is going scorpio but net of wands yes enjoy the ride enjoy the adventure here scorpio you have the two of cups could be perfect match coming in for you. So again, this could be a relationship where it's like you don't really know where it's going. Eight of Swords. I really feel this reading says you need to set yourself free in a big way. I feel like it's saying you need to, like, you know, I ba basically it's saying do not argue for your limitations. I feel like some of you need to realize that you're not as limited as you may feel. And I'm not discounting your feelings or anything like that, but uh, I do feel like you need to, like, once you take the first step, it's like you will be setting yourself free from this Eight of Swords. Where is this going? here, Scorpio, towards a victory. Are you kidding me? Uh, Ace of Swords, victory, success, judgment card, wake up call, and also you moving towards your purpose and the high priestess. Again, it's a mystery. Some of you are walking into darkness here. I feel like some of you are kind of like walking into the unknown, right? But at the same time, it's like, again, there is a lot of success in the unknown. What's this next card? Yeah, I would get moving. You have this TikTok card here. It's like you're, you're not getting any younger here, Scorpio, right? Nine of Pentacles, total abundance, pre-empress energy here. Uh, you have the tower with that. Uh, to me, that's a major wake up call. The tower and the judgment card together is like a total revelation, is like a major, you know, significant kind of lightning bolt to the head type of energy. So I feel for some of you, this is like a major wake up call that you're having. And the Four of Swords blessings. I feel like you're hoping for blessings to come in here. Like really, this is like one of those readings where I feel like saying, what are you waiting for, right? I feel like it's saying that you need to kind of like get moving towards a goal, wish, dream, something, because there are sweet results. There will be success. I feel for others, I definitely feel, uh, you know, as far as love is concerned, it doesn't really look like a love reading to me, even though you have the Two of Cups here. That's it. You don't have anything else, really, as far as love is concerned. You do have the Six of Cups, but for the most part, I would be careful of allowing that to keep you, you know, I'd be careful of allowing a past relationship to keep you stuck. So for the most part, I feel like you'd be um, opening up to a new adventure, opening up to new love here, Scorpio. But uh, not a terrible reading, not a bad reading either. It's actually pretty good. I would just say that I feel like you need to um, kind of 
uh, get started. <laughs> I feel like it's saying get moving here, Scorpio, and you will be happy that you did. I do feel like there could be some sort of shocking kind of revelation here. Let's see. What is this revelation that you're having here, Scorpio? You have the Ten of Wands here. You have the Chariot, Major Victory, and the uh, Four of Pentacles. For some of you, I feel like the revelation that you are having is that you have been stuck, right? Four of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. I feel like some of you are realizing what has kept you stuck. Number one, I would move past it, right? Don't beat yourself up. I think people, sometimes we realize, oh my God, I've been doing nothing for three years. I, I was stuck. And then we beat ourselves up about it for another three years. Then we do nothing. I feel like this is saying, don't beat yourself up, right? Everybody has a period in their life where they're stuck or they're not moving forward. So I feel like recognize it, move on, is what the Four of Pentacles is saying here. And uh, the Ten of Wands, really good. I actually like this because Ten of Wands, he's walking towards this village over here and uh, he's about to release his burdens. So it's like you're about to have a victory and you're about to clearly start a new journey. Chariot, he's moving away from this city that is behind him and he's kind of taking control and creating his own reality. So uh, it's like a significant revelation that you're having. Here, Scorpio, pretty powerful. It uh, looks good. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time, Scorpio. But thank you, Scorpio, and definitely enjoy your month.